Mm. Okay, we are recording. Now, mouse controls. All right, controlling your mouse. This is done in the Windows settings. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how this is done so that there is uh, no ambiguity at all. Okay? Esau does not handle how your mouse is controlled. So let's look at how the mouse is controlled. So I'm going to exit out of here and then we will go into Windows settings. All right. Now, in your Windows settings, okay, what we do is we look at devices. It says here, Bluetooth printers, the moose, I mean the mouse. Okay, so we click on the devices, right? Click on the mouse up here, okay? And then we have multiple lines at a time, right? So click on that and one screen at a time, multiple lines at a time. So leave that there. There's your cursor speed. Okay. For a, so we will actually look at a far better way than doing it here. Right. I have, because I'm left-handed, I use the right-hand button to click on. Okay. So that's how you change your buttons on there. All right, now let's go to additional. Mouse options here. This is your best one. This brings up this dialogue of your mouse. Here's your buttons. Switch your primary buttons. That's what bleh, 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 that one there, right, is. This adjusts your speed like the one up here. Okay. If you want a click lock, just click that up and then you go into the settings here and for how long or short it is. All right, I don't use it, so it's not necessary. Right, now go to the wheel. Right, it's following the following numbers of lines at a time. All right, so this is it set at three, right? So we click down to one there and you click that there. And then the wheel control number of characters at a time, that, well, it has that three characters at a time. Okay, you can leave that there or you can click it down to one. So there's how you do your lines. All right, or one screen at a time, right? You can click that out, that cuts that out, that dulls that out, right? Can't do anything there. So leave it there. Once you've done that, hit the apply button and it's done and dusted. And then you click OK and you're, that's how, that's how you do it. All right. Here's one that is good, that if you're in an in inactive window, you can uh, um, scroll on in, in an inactive window. All right. So now you know how that is done. Now you know how that is done. Done. That is. Then you can set up your mouse any way you want it to be set up. On that, oh yeah, and change your pointers and everything like that if you want to go down that route. Okay, so on that note, I will finish this video and put it up on Paper Support for you all to watch.
If you find this helpful, and I hope that you really, really do, let in my YouTube channel and derailed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and and uh, hit the notification bell and select all notifications for all anything new that I put up. Okay, and on that note, we will say God bless you, God love you heaps, and have some fun. And then it's uh, old epinay.